Hello YouTubers, it's Aria. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, I went to Starbucks today uh, and I got what, what what's called an Irish cream nitro cold brew. Yeah, and um, it, it has like a vanilla flavor with one pump of sugar-free vanilla. Mm. And I only got one pump of Irish cream cold. Irish cream syrup, I mean. Oh my god, it's amazing! Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, you should really try this drink. It's like one of my favorite drinks at Starbucks. Okay, you guys, so um, I wanted to quickly update, quickly update you guys on like how things are going. I had my Nerf block on Wednesday, and today is Saturday. So, um, you know, you guys, I look a lot better. I mean, I put some makeup on today, but, um, like my face is less swollen. My eyes are a little less swollen. I think I got so puffy and swollen because they put saline fluids, um, in the begin before my nerve block. And because I vomited, I think they did it afterwards too. But you guys, um, my voice is still pretty like low. It's not as high as it used to be. Uh, and I think that's normal. Like you kind of have like a hoarse voice. But you guys, um, I did start getting pain, uh, a little bit of pain fairly quickly again. I would say like the day of, like in the evening and then the next day. Um, and then today I feel some pain, but it's you know leveling off in a way and um i'm back at the park you guys and it's actually like snowing today you guys i don't know if you guys can see that there's like nobody here and for some reason i just feel so calm like whenever i come to the park like i've been so trapped at home that like just to get be away from home feels really really nice um and i really haven't been you know walking much or anything but yeah anyways you guys um um i i i did want to mention i don't think i've mentioned this yet too much in depth or talked about it but um um like my my oh well my eye my right eye looks a little bit bigger today it was like a little bit smaller but it's getting better too sometimes i still feel spacey and i feel like i'm like pausing to find the right words to say and I am still pretty freaked out about what happened I mean I'm kind of starting to get over it it's just I don't really understand what happened I mean they did a ketamine infusion too so maybe not being able to talk or move was me disassociating because I heard that can happen with ketamine I'm not sure but I'll see this doctor uh, in two weeks from now um, so I can ask him then. I don't know. I kind of don't want to have any more nerf blocks because it's like when things go wrong, things go wrong. And I was really scared that, oh my gosh, what if I never recover? Well, you know, like days after because the first day I was just, I could not think for myself or anything. And then the next day I could barely think for myself. But not really and then the third day is when it started kicking in like oh my god like what if i would have stayed like that um so now i'm starting to come around starting to process like i couldn't really even work on homework because i was my mind was just pause so i don't know if he's going to suggest that i have more nerve blocks or not um the nausea and vomiting oh my god you guys i felt so nauseous too like the last couple of days so i actually came back from the store i ordered like pickup and i bought like pepto and tums to see if that settles my stomach i mean i don't really know what else to do i mean last night i took benadryl because i read that can help um and there's so yeah so i took that last night and it did help but then it you know makes me fall asleep so you guys, I don't know. I, I just, I feel good. I feel okay. I'm just, is it bad that I'm still hung up on what happened? Is it bad that I can't like get over it? Like I don't feel traumatized, but I do feel like 
really freaked out about it. I mean, before I went into the procedure, I was worried about my tremor and the shakiness and like none of that even mattered and we didn't even talk about that. It didn't even come up. Nobody even noticed, I think. Okay, so, but like, but then now I came out like, you know, not being able to talk or think or say anything or move it was scary you guys it was really scary <sighs> yeah um and then oh yeah i was really depressed the day before the nerf block because i found out about crps starting in my leg like the sensitivity is there the temperature changes are there the pain is there and it's just I don't know it's hard because you know I've been told different things by different doctors like you know like when it first happened I was told oh it's a sprain you'll get better then I was told oh it's just a contusion you'll get better and then now when I went yesterday to the specialist he said I mean three days ago he said or four days ago yeah four days ago he said he, there was no other explanation for what, what it is other than CRPS because I shouldn't be having this much pain and then my leg is atrophying because you guys, because of the pain, I couldn't walk without the crutches and I still sometimes use the crutches. Or if I don't use the crutches, then I'll just stay in bed because it really hurts. So I'm supposed to be starting PT. I'm going to call next week. To get scheduled and get on that right away because it's not it's not you know I, I don't want to lose my leg I don't want to end up in a wheelchair my doctor well my the one who does my nerve blocks he believes that I can recover completely but I, I don't know uh, I, I don't want to get my hopes up because I've gotten them up before and I've been let down because of my pain because it just flares and and I'm scared to be hopeful. I'd rather be more realistic and you know agree with and be okay with managing my pain because the probability the probability is that I'll have it for the rest of my life. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry the radio was super high this entire time. But um I I'm just I want to be okay with knowing that it's going to be pain that I'm going to have to manage for the rest of my life. I mean, I'd rather have it be manageable than unmanageable. But he believes that I can recover and I just don't feel like I can. Yeah, so I'm really worried about my leg, you guys. Like, how am I supposed to work? Ah, oh, I don't know, just so many things. And even school, I don't want to register for classes. I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I can barely think. I'm just really stressed, too. Um... Anyways, you guys, I would suggest if you haven't tried the Irish Cream Cold Brew to try it out. Mmm. Even though it's snowing today. Mmm. Mm hmm It's still like a really good drink to have. Okay, that's enough. I feel really weird drinking this in front of you guys. Hopefully you guys aren't getting thirsty for some Starbucks. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I don't know. I just, I know, I don't know if you guys know, but there's like such a thing as medical trauma where you can be traumatized by medical procedures. And I just, don't want to worry about it too much because I don't want to associate nerf blocks with this bad experience like I mean the chances of this happening again are probably really low since 
you know, they'll probably not increase any medications and they'll probably give me anti-nausea medications, but it's still pretty scary and ugh, to be honest with you guys, I think about it a lot, like the entire day unless I force myself to like watch a movie or do homework. It's just on my mind so much. It's killing me and it doesn't help that I'm anxious you know it doesn't help that I have anxiety because I kind of latch onto things and then my mind just thinks and thinks and thinks and doesn't think about anything else so anyways you guys I'm just going to go to my house now I um I'm gonna um, I I I'm just going to you know treat the nausea for today and hope that it kind of settles down I haven't had an appetite either um, well, except for maybe like the second day, but yeah. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. If you guys have any comments or questions down below, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, and then the other thing is that I laugh. Oh, okay. I'm laughing at like m things now, like a little bit more easily. Which is a little bit like weird, you know? But yeah. Anyways, you guys, that was really scary. Okay, anyways, see, see, then I go back to thinking about it and it doesn't help. Oh, you guys, I'll probably make like 10 other videos about this. <sighs> okay, finally, this time I will see you later, you guys. Bye.